So what is referential transparency? These two words together may seem more complex than the real meaning is. The term referential transparency means that the expression or a function can be replaced by its value without changing the program behavior. Let's understand this with a working example. Let's say we have an array of numbers denoting different transaction amounts. Here, a negative amount represents a debit transaction. Now, let's say we have a function which given an array of amounts computes and returns the sum of all debit transactions. Next, we call it twice with the same inputs and store the results in value 01 and 02 variables. Next, we print the value on the console and also print if they are equal. Then, we exit the paste mode and see the outputs. As we observe carefully, value 01 and 02 have exactly same values and therefore we get true on this line. So what does this mean? It means that the function getTotalExpense refTR is a referentially transparent function because as per the definition of a referential transparency, if we replace the function's call with their values, the program behavior still remains the same, no matter how many times you call it. Okay, so what's the example of non-referential transparency? Let's look at another example. Okay, so in this example, we have the same array of transaction amounts. Then we have a variable called total expense. This keeps the sum of all debit transactions. Next, we have a function called get total expense that performs a similar calculation to find total expenses. But this time, it updates a global variable called total expense, which is not part of the inputs to the function. Or in other words, it is in the global state or the function get total expense causes observable side effects. Next, we call the function twice and store the results in value 03 and 04 variables and also print them on console. Like last time, we print if the values are same. When we exit the paste mode, the Scala compiler executes the code and voila. As you see, value 03 and 04 are not the same value and therefore the next line printed is false. So what does this mean? It means that the get total expense is not referentially transparent. Even though we call the get total expense twice with the same inputs, replacing it with its value changed the program behavior as the two calls gave two different outputs. So to conclude, a function can be referentially transparent if and only if a function is a pure function. Impurity breaks referential transparency. So what's the benefit of referential transparency? Why is it important? Well, there are many benefits of referential transparency. First, it allows the developer and the compiler to reason about the program behavior. Second, it helps in proving the correctness of the program. Third, it helps in simplifying the algorithm or modifying it. And finally, it provides the opportunity for compiler to perform optimizations such as memoization, lazy evaluation, and parallelization. So as you learn Scala, learn new ways of writing functions and try to make them referentially transparent.